Gold is a popular diversifier in investment portfolios to reduce volatility and risk, currency devaluation, and uncertainty. Here we'll explore the best gold ETFs to get exposure to the shiny metal. So why gold? If you've landed on this video, you probably already know why you want to buy gold. Essentially, gold is usually uncorrelated to both stocks and bonds, so it inarguably at least provides a short-term diversification benefit to lower portfolio volatility and risk, which can be attractive for risk-averse investors and or retirees. While it's debatable whether or not gold is a reliable inflation hedge, it does seem to be positively correlated with a declining currency and can thus be used as a store of value. The metal is also held as a safe haven for times of political unrest and instability. It is referred to as the crisis commodity. Gold is a major component in many popular lazy portfolios like the all-weather portfolio, the golden butterfly portfolio, and the permanent portfolio. Remember that gold is an extremely volatile asset. You only need a dash of it in your asset allocation for its intended effect. I'd personally hold gold at no more than about 10% of the portfolio. Now let's explore the best gold ETFs. With these ETFs being physically backed by gold bullion, they reliably track the price of gold while eliminating uncertainties from futures contracts. Most of these funds here track the same index, the spot price of gold gold bullion, so it's probably a good idea to just aim for the lowest expense ratio. First and most popular is GLD, the Spider Gold Trust, with over $78 billion in assets. It is also the oldest fund founded in 2004. This ETF seeks to track the spot price of gold bullion. Unfortunately, it has one of the highest fees on this list at 0.40%. Those trading gold over the short term will likely want to use this fund as it has the highest liquidity. Liquidity. Second on our list is IAU, the iShares Gold Trust, with over $32 billion in assets. It also tracks the spot price of gold bullion. This fund was incepted in 2005 and has an expense ratio of 0.25%, considerably cheaper than GLD. Third on our list is GLDM, the Spider Gold Mini Shares Trust. GLDM is the little brother to their massive GLD. GLDM holds one-tenth of the amount of gold per share as GLD. GLD. Because of this, its fee is much lower at 0.18%. This fund has over $3.5 billion in assets. Next on our list is SGOL, the Aberdeen Standard Physical Gold Shares ETF. SGOL is an even cheaper way to access the same gold index with an expense ratio of 0.17%. As such, though it's less popular with a little over $2 billion in assets, SGOL would be a fine replacement for GLD and IAU to save some on fees. Next on our list is IAUM, the iShares Gold Trust Micro. IAUM is the newer, cheaper little brother to IAU. iShares launched this fund in mid-2021, and it has quickly amassed over $1.2 billion in assets, likely due to the solid track record from the provider and the lowest fee in this space at 0.15%. Like the larger IAU, IAUM also tracks the spot price of gold. IAUM would be be my choice out of this list. Next up is UGL, the ProShares Ultra Gold. Those desiring leveraged exposure to gold may want to use UGL, which seeks to provide two times the daily returns of gold bullion. This fund has roughly $300 million in assets and an expense ratio of 0.95%. Last on the list is GDX, the Van Eck Vectors Gold Miners ETF. Another way to achieve pseudo leverage on gold is through gold miners stocks. These are companies that physically mine gold. As such, this is considered indirect exposure to gold and tends to be more volatile and unpredictable. Those seeking to invest in gold miners will enjoy GDX. The fund seeks to track the NYSE ARCA Gold Miners Index, a market cap weighted index of gold miners stocks around the world. This ETF has over $18 billion in assets and an expense ratio of 0.52%. Do you own any of these gold funds? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.